I'm gonna sound like such an annoying ass guru when I talk right now, but I really have to share this message because I think that it's something that could really benefit you and I didn't wanna hold it in. So <clears throat> I think one of the reasons that certain people become successful and others don't, like one of the main reasons is the way that you can basically master your mind and like one of those things is literally the thoughts that you tell yourself and the beliefs you tell yourself. And this is how I've personally thought of it. And by the way, I have I, I, the source of what I'm going to tell you. I don't know where this came from in me, but for my entire life, like my whole life, I've always just been like, I have this goal and I want to get to it always. Even as a kid, when I was trying to play basketball and I was trying to like <laughs> make it to the NBA, which probably was not realistic, but I didn't care. See, I never think about that, by the way. I never think what's realistic. I just was like, no, it's what I want. What I want is as real as it needs to be. So anyway, I uh, I always just was like, okay, I have this goal. I want to get to this thing. What do I need to actually do to get there? Whether I have a coach to do it and help me or a trainer or a per whatever. It does it. To me, I'm like, I don't care if I have any of those things. All I care about is what do I actually need? And so like, for example, when I played basketball, I was short. I mean, I'm like 5'8", so I'm not like super tall or super short, but I'm just like an average height person. But when I was playing basketball, I was short. And obviously that's a huge disadvantage when you're playing basketball. But I never thought, like, yeah, there was times where I was frustrated about my height. Man, I wish I was taller, but I never was like, oh, I'm short, so I'm not gonna be good at basketball. I always was like, I'm short, so I have to work harder. That's kind of how I thought of it. Hold the camera here. I'm short, so I have to work harder. But then like you hear a lot of musicians say things like, oh, that's way better. You hear musicians say things like, like, I'm not, I'm not going to say the person's name. They just messaged me. One of my clients said, I'm a perfectionist. I've heard a lot of musicians say I'm a perfectionist. Well, okay. If you have a goal of doing this thing of like making music full time is, is being number one. What the fuck does that even mean, being a perfectionist? Second of all, is being a perfectionist serving you or hurting you? Here's the other thing. This is the, this, so, so I could, we could just literally sit and analyze that one quote, I'm a perfectionist thing, but I want to get to another one. There's another one I've heard people say, I'm a night owl. Okay, that's probably true for some people. I don't know, maybe it is, but. I'm starting to think of Andy Frisella and how he probably would agree with that because he has so much trouble sleeping. Some people do just get their shit done better at night. It just depends on the person. But if it's if you're saying it and it's not serving you, then you shouldn't say it. Like if you say, hey, I'm a night owl. This is when I get my shit done and you get your shit done. Cool. But if you're saying like, hey, I'm a, I'm a night owl. That's why I'm not able to be consistent at waking up early. And then like the waking up early, like you not waking up early and you not having time. Like if you're the type of person who also doesn't have time and then you're saying, oh, I'm a night owl. It's like, wait, wait, wait. You just said you don't have time. And then you're also saying you're a night owl. So if you're a night owl, that's fine, but you better have time. <laughs> So if you don't have time, but you're a night owl, you might need to switch it up and become a fucking morning person. Like that's just math. I don't see how that's like one plus one, but people don't think like that. What people do, what most people do, and you might be doing this. Most people, what they do is they think, hmm, how can I figure out a way to make an excuse for why I'm not doing what I'm supposed to be? That's pretty much what most people do, right? Most people will literally just, instead of actually changing their behaviors and changing their habits, people will just be like, you know what? I would rather make an excuse, okay? I would rather make an excuse for why I'm not doing things than actually starting to do those things. I don't know why people do that, it makes no fucking sense to me because I don't know what world and reality you're living in where you think you're going to achieve your goals and where you think you're going to have a happy life by talking and thinking and acting like that. 